minutes uh, to eight now. Good morning. It's breakfast on BBC Radio Kent uh, with John and Maggie. Tensions between groups of migrants in Calais have become so serious, French media are calling it a civil war. The French police union says 40 police reinforcements who arrived in the town yesterday are simply not enough to deal with the escalating violence. Yesterday, a 16-year-old Ethiopian migrant was killed running across a motorway in the town as she attempted to board a lorry bound for Dover. Let's speak to uh, UKIP MEP Janice Atkinson, who joins us now. Good morning to you. Um, Good morning. Uh, first of all, w- w- what is your assessment of what's going on in Cali, the situation there? Well, John, as you probably know, I was the only UK politician to be granted uh, an audience with the mayor's office because I was so appalled at what was going on. I actually um, went over there three weeks ago and, as I say, I was the only politician to be granted an audience. Now, uh, Philippe Mignonet, who is the deputy mayor, the, uh, the mayor herself doesn't actually speak English, so Philippe, who speaks brilliant colloquial English, um, spoke to me. We're at complete uh, agreement on this, but... Um, first of all, can I just say that you know, the, little, the girl that was killed is actually called Saba. Um, she's an Ethiopian, and, and my condolences go out to, to her family. Mm. And I do promise that I will do everything I can to try and stop this happening again. So what is the solution? Um, Right, so Monsieur Mignier agrees that they should actually be deported. So they've got to be repatriated Where for their to? own safety. Where to? Well, wh- uh, what the interesting thing is, is that they're not claiming um, political asylum or refugee status. No. I spoke to around 20 Sudanese men um, from various sort of educational backgrounds. One was a teacher, very well educated. He was a science teacher. And I said, really, you should go back to your own country. Your country needs you. They need people like you. Yes. And others, they just admit they're coming here to work. And yes. the science teacher said, I don't care i just you don't have homelessness in your country your country you will love us and i thought they've got to be disabused of, of this um, so where do you, the, this, the point this, i'm making a lot of those people because they're in that country france illegally uh will have, have destroyed all their papers you're going to have to guess where they how do you decide no, where to send them back to honest. no job because they're actually telling you where they're coming from yeah they're the telling Ethiopian. you at the moment but once you round them up and say right okay we're going to deport you they might say well, we have... well, they might, yes. but, but they're not at the moment. And this is, the, this is the problem that we had with the Dublin Agreement, which Michael Howard, the former Conservative leader, signed, so that you couldn't deport them. Well, I say you can, because you know where they're coming from. There's 20 young men sitting outside a supermarket who come from Sudan. Now, David Cameron has pro- pro- promised £12 million of UK taxpayers' money. Um, when I spoke to Michel Mignier, the, the Deputy Mayor, he hadn't seen a penny of that money. So he why, isn't he go... lobby- why isn't he the, mayor, the Deputy Mayor of Calais lobbying the French government to to do what you're saying. He, um, oh, he has. And, uh, but right. Monsieur Hollande is totally ignoring him. So today, I'm asking Monsieur Mignet if he will sign a letter jointly with me to go to Francois Hollande and David Cameron to say he wants them both down on the front line of Calais to talk about repatriation and to use as a one-off, you keep on saying as a one-off, is £12 million that should be used to, to um, repatriate because Calais actually um, has got 18, 18% unemployment. It's a real European and French black spot for employment so they haven't got the money to do it but um, I don't think we've got the money to do it but for these people's own safety and what do you do with another show this. and what do you do with another when another 200 arrive well actually that's when you shore up the UK borders now I think well, they're, not the UK, can... they're not crossing the UK border are they they're crossing the Italian border yeah, they're, well, they're crossing through Turkey, actually, and they're crossing through Malta and Italy. I sit on the Committee of uh, Justice and Home Affairs and Civil Liberties in the European Parliament, and I have raised this twice, and they won't listen to me. And I said, what you've got to do is shore up the borders in Turkey. What they then do is then go further north, and they go into Greece, and they go into to Bulgaria, until the European Union actually gets to grips with its own borders. But at the moment, they're actually just cocking at a deaf eye because they know that their ultimate destination is Britain. Janice Atkinson, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Uh, that's Janice Atkinson, the UKIP MEP, talking about the situation in Calais uh, and in an hour's time.